Hi everyone, it's Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a layered letter cut file using Adobe Illustrator. So my daughter's second birthday is coming up, so as an example, I'm going to be making a little cake topper design for her. Let's get started. So I've got my artboard here, and I'm just going to start by typing her name. So I'm going to use my type tool, you can find that over in your toolbar, or just use the shortcut T, and her name is Cressida. Make it bigger, center it, and I'm going to change it to a script typeface. You can use whatever script typeface you'd like. I'm going to use this one called um, Hearty Morning. I think it's pretty cute. And I'll put a link to this um, typeface in the description of the video. Oh, and just to note, one of the reasons I like this typeface is because most all of my letters are connecting. The only one that isn't is the letter C. Um, like I mentioned, you can use whatever script typeface you want for this, but it's going to be easier if you have more letters connecting than not. Okay, so that aside, I'm going to go to Type with it selected and press Create Outlines. This is going to change it from a word to just a bunch of different shapes. If we zoom in here, you can see though that the shapes, each letter is still separate from one another. Um, let me see if I can actually select one for you. There you go. And we don't want that. So what we're going to do is select our entire group of letters, go over to our Pathfinder window, and if you don't have this in your toolbar, you can go to Window and then navigate down to Pathfinder and then click the first one right here, which is Unite. This will group all of my shapes together and almost all of them will become um, a compound path. The last thing we need to do, since we do have the dot for the I here and the letter C, which are not connected, is hit Command-8. And you can see over here in the Layers panel, if I undo that, it turns it from a group of shapes to one compound path. You can also go to Object, Compound Path, and press Make. So that's our first step. I'm just going to change this to a different color. And now we're going to create a couple more layers to go around the outside of our entire word and create this cute little um, bubble to go around it. So to do that, we're going to go to Object, Path, and then click Offset Path. So you're going to have to play around with this and see exactly how much you want to do. Um, obviously, the more you increase the offset, the larger your bubble is going to be. Um, I don't want mine to be quite that big. I'm just going to go back to 0 0.09. That's about how much I want. And as you can see, now my C and my R are connected. And that is what I'm going to want for my project. Okay, I'm going to change this to a different color again. I'm going to hide the top layer for a second. You can see that there are a couple places where I still have a little, some little tiny holes that I don't really want. These are going to be too small and look a little silly when they get cut out, so I'm just going to delete them. Just using my white arrow selection tool, select a point anywhere in that section and just hit delete twice. There you go. And this is just one solid shape, which is exactly what I want. I'm going to do one more layer. You can stop here if you'd like, but I'm going to do three layers for um, Cressida's uh, cake topper. I'm just going to do the same thing. Go to Object, Path, Offset Path. I'm going to keep the offset the same so that it's um, the same distance away from the layer that's in front of it. Press OK, and I'm going to change that color as well. Now let's just double check. This one shouldn't have any small holes, but I'm just double checking. If I use my white arrow selection tool, I can see that there isn't anything weird going on. And we're good to go. Now I've got a cute little cake topper for Cressida. Okay, but just for fun, I'm going to show you how you can make this topper a little bit more intricate. I'm going to add the words happy birthday to this design, but I still want the name to be the main focus. So I'm going to make it smaller and do it in a sans serif typeface. Okay, so I'm first I'm just going to type out happy birthday. Then I'm going to change this to all caps and change the font. And for this, I'm just going to use a version of Helvetica that's kind of condensed. 
Let's see. This one looks pretty good. Okay, and I'm going to change this to auto for the spacing, or optical, sorry. Um, auto is what you need whenever you're doing script typefaces, but um, all other typefaces I like to use optical spacing. I'm going to change the letter spacing a little bit, and it's going to be this golden color. And I actually think I might want to do a slightly heavier typeface. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and then like we did before, once you have um, your type exactly how you like it, go to Type and then select Create Outlines. And there you go. So the problem with this is that since it's not a script font, the letters are all separated. So in order to connect them with each other and add it to our overall name design, we're going to add a horizontal bar connecting it to the main shape and then also to each one of the letters. So I'm just going to shrink this down, not quite that much, just a little bit. Actually, I'm take that back. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little horizontal bar right here. And put these on top. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to make this slightly bigger. And put the letters just directly on top of that bar. With that in place, we are just about done. I'm just going to select all of my gold pieces and then go back to my Pathfinder window and hit Unite. I'm gonna put those in the back. And there you go. So I'm gonna get rid of all of my extra pieces, my extra layers. And I should just have three compound paths now. So I have the one on top, the pink one in the middle, and then the gold one in the back. So we're ready to go. I'm just going to save this as an SVG file. And then upload it to Cricut Design Space. All right, here we are in Cricut Design Space, and I'm just going to click on New Project. And then in my canvas, I'm just going to hit Upload, Upload Image, and drag my file in there. Hit upload again select the image and hit insert image. Now this design isn't going to take very much tweaking in design space since everything is just supposed to be a cut layer and everything is already set to basic cut. The only thing I'm going to change is that I want the size, um, I want the width to be six inches and then it'll automatically adjust my height and everything is looking perfect and I'm ready to send it to cut. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you have fun making your very own super cute layered designs and crafts.